Hey, greetings, guys. Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical, coming to you from the Boswell pad. Um, this is where the magic happens, where I write all those test questions and do all the home publishing, etc. Um, so, a couple days ago, we put, I put up a question about placental abruption versus placenta previa. I noticed not everybody was getting consistently the right answer. There was still a little confusion on that. So, I want to share with you something that was taught to me a few years ago that's helped me every time I've seen this question on the exam between abruption versus um, previa. And I've seen it on every exam I've taken. It always comes up at least once. It's kind of like the, the inferior MI question that'll show up or the organophosphates question. It's one of the common ones they like to ask about. So let's look at the words here. Placenta previa, a little card for you here. If you notice, there is a P for placenta and a P for previa. We're going to take that P and substitute P for painless, P for privates. Okay, privates remind you it's a GYN issue or an OB issue. Painless, not always painless of zero, but it's always a much lower grade pain than the abruption. Uh, in the test question, you'll see descriptors like the lady's complaining of cramping, aching, a dull pressure like sensation. If she rates it on a 10 scale, it'll be on at least the lower half of the 10 scale, like a five or less. It will not be a significantly painful event. Okay, so placenta previa, P for placenta, P for previa, change that to P for painless, to remind you it's either zero pain or a low grade pain, and P for privates. Contrasting that with our placental abruption, there is a P in placenta, there's an A in abruption, we're going to change that, now it's going to be A for always, P for painful. So what we're doing is we're contrasting the descriptor of how much pain this mother's having with her uh, obstetrical urgency going on here. Now, this condition in all exam questions will be described with a pain level that's significant, severe, um, high grade, uh, above five on the pain scale, some dramatic difference. And that's how you tell the difference between these two. While one may be described as painless, the abruption will always be very, very painful. And even if they give you a previa and they say she's having some pain, it will always be a much lower grade pain than the abruption, okay? So abruption is always a higher grade pain, placenta previa is always a lower grade pain. Of course, there's other things that tell the difference between the two also. Previa tends to happen more in the second trimester, uh, abruption more in the third trimester. Uh, abruption is more consistent with the mechanism of some type of injury, uh, blunt abdominal trauma on the gravid uterus. Uh, previa does not have to have injury. Uh, normally for it to happen. Which one is an emergency? Which one is a true life or death emergency concerning the risk to the fetus as well as to the mother? Hey, that's easy. Placental abruption has that letter A. I want you to remember this. It's always an emergency. Always an emergency. Previa, it's important, but it's between the two. The abruption is the emergency because the fetal circulation is being compromised. And there's some internal bleeding that's going on that may not uh, be visible with the abruption. So some of that blood's already being pulled out of the mother's circulation. All right, that's your free test taking tip for the day. For the day today, y'all, placental abruption versus placenta previa. Remember the P and the P, and the P and the A. One is lower grade pain. One is higher. Previa abruption. One is always an emergency. Abruption, A for always. All right, good luck. Hope that helps you guys. Like I said, it's on the exam often. I've seen it on every version I've taken over the last several years. All right, uh, email me, Facebook me, however you need to. Keep following us. Good luck to you. Let me know how it goes and uh, comment on the video, okay? Thanks. Take care. Be safe.